everyone, my name's Annette and welcome to Cotto Verdi. This is our front garden and today we're planting, well, preparing a tiny bit more of the ground and then we're going to plant some shrubs. I'm so excited, we have waited so long to do this and I've been planning it for months. I'm hoping that I've created a garden where we're going to have colour throughout the year and also some winter structure. The bed that we're planting today is very south facing but also in the corner it has a little bit of shade um, so it's going to get the full blast of any sun we have here in the UK. I've chosen uh, different shrubs um, and perennials for this bed although we're only putting the shrubs in today so I've chosen these shrubs so that they give us colour all year round and I've also chosen them because these are shrubs that I really like. I've been buying the plants gradually over time and we've been storing them in what we like to call our nursery which is really the back garden and today we have prepared the soil and we're ready to put these in so we're going to measure them out make sure they've got all the space that they need dig a big hole and then put them in the ground uh, my husband Richard is the powerhouse behind all the digging so he does a lot of the ground prep he really likes to work hard in the garden I love to grow things and plant things and design the garden so actually we're a pretty good match so these are the gates where we enter our property and this is what we like to call the front garden which is the area that we drive past when we first come into the property you can see in the front there that we've already dug the area closest to the edge and we planted some roses and some other very small shrubs and hopefully what's going to be a lovely tulip and allium display. There is a crab apple right in the middle and then there's sort of a turning area over here and as you can see we have an extremely tall wall and we've got some more shrubs waiting to go in. It's towards the end of February, so this is a perfect time to get these shrubs in and let their roots develop before they spring into bloom and leaf out. What happens is I fall in love with a plant and, um, and I buy it. And then in the past, what I've done is I have literally dumped it. Oh, that's very bright. <laughs> literally dumped it don't not dumped it I've chosen a spot to plant it in without really any consideration for how large it's going to get but just where I thought it would look attractive but um, what I've found and discovered over the years is that this is a big mistake because even though I might think it looks good there um, it's going to grow too big and I think it's going to prefer it here so much more it's not going to be smothered by anything it's going to have a spot all of its own and it's going to grow to its luxurious self. So this is called a Japanese snowball, it's a Viburnum Watanabe and it's going to grow to one and a half metres, 150 centimetres. Um, it says don't prune it and it likes full sun. So there we go, it is planted and we just need to water it in. Two metres and 75 centimetres from the Watanabe is the lilac. Goodness. Yeah, and one metre away from the wall.
the Reeves is going 1.25 metres from the U, two metres from that yeah. should be the Viburnum. I will need wires on the fence and up the um, brick pillar. Really? Yeah, but I'm also planning, so the clematis should flower after the lilac and should grow through the lilac. So we're all done for today anyway. So in the corner we have the Irish yew and next to it we've got Reeb's Gordoneum, Gordoneum, I don't know how you say it. And then we have the Viburnum Kilimanjaro and we have the Lilac Madame Limoni and then we have the Viburnum Watanabe. And in the corner we've planted a Clematis. It's Clematis Tutsiko. I don't know, anyway, that should end up climbing through the lilac once it's finished flowering and climbing up the pillar and looking beautiful. And I'm so excited. We've got so much more to do, but I cannot believe we've got these planted finally. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and uh, you want to see more of what we're planning in the garden and how we're planning it and what we're planting, then do subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any videos and also if you like the video do give it a like and I cannot wait to get to know you all and find out what you're planning in your garden so do let me know if you've got big plans oh and if you have any questions then just comment down below and I'll answer them so thanks for watching and see you all next time bye <laughs>